Good morning, boys and girls, and parents, and, and teachers. Welcome to our chapel service this week on Wednesday, September 2nd. Uh, again, we look forward to this day and the opportunity to worship our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ together as a community. So, um, again, welcome, and our opening hymn for today will be I Am Jesus, Little Lamb, and it is in page 10 of your bulletin. Page 10 of your bulletin, I Am Jesus, Little Lamb. Please stand for the invocation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. I cry to you, O Lord, in, in the morning my prayer comes before you. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. My mouth is filled with your praise, and with your glory all the day. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. By awesome deeds your answer, you answer us with righteousness. O God of our salvation, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. He redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. We are seated for our hymn of the month for September, Praise the One Who Breaks the Darkness, page 13 in your bulletin.
Our reading for today comes from Mark chapter 7, verses 31 through 37. Jesus returned from the region of Tyre, went through Sidon to the Sea of Galilee in the region of Decapolis. And they brought to him a man who was deaf and had a speech impediment. And they begged him to lay his hand on him. And taking him aside from the crowd privately, he put his fingers into his ears, and after spitting, touched his tongue, and looked up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, Ephitha, that is, be opened. And his ears were opened, his tongue was released, and he spoke plainly. And Jesus charged them to tell no one. But the more he charged them, the more zealously they proclaimed it. And they were astonished beyond measure, saying, He has done all things well. He even makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. This is our word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our message for today, boys and girls, is going to come from that specific reading in Mark, where we hear of Jesus' great power and his authority and the, and the authority of his words. Uh, now, boys and girls, we know or we're taught and we believe that Jesus is both true God and true man 100% of the time. Now, your math teachers might sit there and be like, how is this possible? How in the world can we say that one person is both 100% God and 100% man all the time? Jesus is. We're told that within the Bible, and we believe that from our, from our description of what we see of Jesus. And here in Mark, we see his godly powers. Jesus is God. We have a man who's deaf and mute. He can't hear. He can't speak. And uh, some of this guy's friends bring them to Jesus and say, Jesus, lay your hands on them, and we believe that you can heal him. And we see here in verse 34, he says to him, be opened. And his ears are open. They're unblocked. And his tongue is released, and he can speak. That's almighty power that we don't see. We only see that with Jesus because he is true God. He is able to do things that no one else can do. No other miracles um, that we see from others outside of Jesus are the same as when God speaks. Because he is true God, it is his word that causes that to happen. We do see other miracles in the Bible, most certainly. And I'm sure, again, boys and girls, you could raise your hand and tell me the many miracles that let's say someone like Moses might have done in the Old Testament to free the Israelites. Remember, he throws his staff down and God, not Moses, turns the staff into a snake. So it is always the work of God that we see in these miracles. And Jesus is true God so that when he speaks, it is true and it does happen. We see this again throughout the Bible and we see it in his word and those words still have power today. Right, boys and girls, we know that the God is still working in and through us. It doesn't stop just because Jesus is in heaven and not here on earth. He is here living uh, through us. We are his hands and feet. Now, boys and girls, I cannot say, you know, oh, turn this water into wine. We don't see that, right? We don't see maybe those types of miracles in today's world because God works and Jesus works in his own way. At this time, Jesus said, your, you are, your ears are to be open. Your tongue is to be released. And it happened. And Jesus tells them, what does he tell them from our reading? He tells them, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anyone that this happened. And what did his followers do? It said they were astonished beyond measure. And they went and told people. Now let's bring that into today's world. When we see the many blessings and gifts that God pours upon us and showers us with, it is our job, it is our duty to share those blessings that he gives us with others so that others can find and know Jesus. In the end, that is our ultimate goal. It is to have our brothers and sisters in Christ with us go out and share the good news of Jesus Christ so that others can join our family. This family that gets to experience the ultimate gift of eternal life in heaven. So don't forget that Jesus is man. He dies on the cross. He goes through pain, death, 
all those things that we face because we are sinners, but he overcomes because he is God. He rises on that third day. He defeats sin, death, and the devil, and forever gives us the gift of eternal life for those that believe. I'm a believer, boys and girls, and I know that those of you out there are believers too. It is then our job to go out and share with others so they can come become believers too and be a part of our family. Jesus is good. He is merciful. He is, he is grace. He is all those things wrapped into one, both true God and true man. Today we focus on that godly power that he has. He can heal us. He, sends, uh, he blesses people with the ability to heal us. Those are the gifts that God gives, and we are so thankful for him. So each and every day, we need to wake up and go forth and share his good news. And it is so great to get to do that with you boys and girls here at St. John's, but so much more important to go out into our community, go out and share with others, share with our friends those same gifts that we have to bring others to Jesus Christ. And it is in his most precious name that we pray. Amen. We stand for our canticle, which is creating me on page 16 of your bulletin. and girls, so we're going to turn back to page two of our bulletin and join me in prayer, please. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For the gift of divine peace and of pardon, with all our heart and with all our mind, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the holy Christian church, here and scattered throughout the world, and for the proclamation of the gospel and the calling of all to faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this nation, for our cities and communities, and for the common welfare of us all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For St. John's Lutheran School, for the health and welfare of the teachers, students, staff, and their families, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all those in need, for the hungry and homeless, for the sick and dying, and for all those who care for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Finally, for those, for these and for all our needs of body and soul, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We join together in Luther's morning prayer. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. 
The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. All right, boys and girls, thank you so much for joining us today uh, for our chapel service. Go do great things. Share the good news of Jesus Christ. And in all things, remember that he blesses us daily. Have a great day. God's blessings.